Absolutely. Well, we can go live now to the cordon near Grenfell Towers to talk to Dawn Butler, who's the Shadow Minister for Diverse Communities and Labour MP for Brent Central. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, what have you been doing there this morning? Good morning, Turner. I've just been really speaking to people. Uh, it's a very, very sad time. This is a national tragedy, and I just am so shocked that this could even happen in 2017. When you look at the building behind, it's just totally unbelievable. I welcome the public inquiry that Theresa May has set up, but I think there has to be a few things around that, in that residents' voices must be put first and foremost at any discussions. They have a public forum where they've raised various questions and concerns over years, and they must be at the front of this. It must also be a speedy inquiry. We should have a result by the summer, and uh, there should be a commitment to act on the findings. And, you know, Theresa May doesn't have to wait to act. She can act straight away. There's a coroner's report from 2013. She can act on those recommendations. This should never have happened. My condolences goes out to everybody that's affected. And for those people who are still waiting to hear about their loved ones, it's, it's unthinkable, so, the pain. Jeremy Corbyn has said that empty homes owned by investors in Kensington and Chelsea should be requisitioned in order to house those who've been left homeless by the fire. Do you agree with that? Is it a viable suggestion? Of course it is. Why should we have empty homes when people are living on the floors of community centres, of the churches, and there's homes that are empty? We're a civilised society. This should never have happened. I'm pleased that the police are looking at this as a criminal investigation. There was a lot of money spent on these flats quite recently. And what was that money for if it's not for putting the safety of the residents first? And that has to be the priority uh, of any new build. So, yes, if there's an empty property, it should be filled with people who have made homeless by this national and devastating tragedy. Um, Theresa May has been criticised for going but not meeting residents. You've already said it's important that the residents' voices are heard. Um, how would you assess the anger that there is there? Well, the residents have a right to be angry. They, they have a, a phenomenal right to be angry and, and I don't blame them for being angry about everything that has happened. The fact that they have lost their loved ones, they have a right to be angry. How Theresa May conducts herself as Prime Minister is, is her, her way of doing things. I think that the emergency services have been phenomenal and the way that the um, fire service and the police service worked together was absolutely phenomenal. And I also think that the fire brigades union need to have a say in this inquiry because they've been raising concerns for many years too and they need a seat round the table. I can't comment on how Theresa May acts as Prime Minister. I think she was right to meet the emergency services and to talk to them and thank them. I think she needs to meet with the residents and she needs to make sure that they are forefront of any investigation. Thank you very much, Dawn Butler.